Hey guys, we're back. And I floated up into the guy. And we're gonna be fighting this guy. We don't know what he is, but he floats inside of the hole in a dark rift. In a dark rift. Yeah. I'm so used to talking about riffs, like guitar riffs with my buddy. Oh yeah, by the way, before I came in here, it might be a little too late for you people, but before I came in here, I had, um, I bought, uh, I bought all new, uh, items and stuff while I was in, all new cannon stuff, like beyond the torpedo, I just bought more stuff while I was there, because I figured I should. Hmm. We'll launch the torpedo. Either way, we'll launch the torpedo. We'll guard there. Or a Valor. We're going to use one of those. And we're going to encrim ourselves. This will work a lot better. It's always good to use, um... What? I had a yellow. He should be attacking me, but I guess he doesn't. This is probably one of the easier boss fights in the game. Like, he is not hard at all. Like, he's just sort of annoying. Like, I, could, I'm, I think we're going to beat him before the end of this video. If we're lucky, of course. But I think we will. So the Aura of Valor gives us full spirit. Minus a little bit, but we'll have full by next turn. And, yeah. Oh, it actually gives you full. My bad. My bad. It's very easy to, you know. Anyway, I don't think it's something funny. If you stay put and keep shooting, you get to use the Moonstone Cannon, which means that if you weren't if you decide not to see the 10 inch cannon coil, can go really far, and I like it for that. Launch another Valorum torpedo. Wait, we should be. I'll just focus. No, no, no. no. I should I'll launch the Valorum torpedo. Turn on there, and then I can. I'll try hitting him. No, I'm gonna use. I don't know. Focus, and then. Let's see these people that you can use their moves. Double all your spear points for one turn, and the crew man he'll protect your ship from enemy cannon fire. Now this guy doesn't shoot cannons, so those aren't going to help. And I'll just guard them. Yeah, he doesn't have that much health. But he has a fair bit, because he has a boss. Now, this is the only other time in the game, besides when we first get the Moonstone Cannon, that there's a different animation when you use it. Every time from now on, there's a different animation for when you use it. I mean, for every time you do it from now on, it's a, there's a new animation. See, there's like a little bit more than half his health right there. We can probably kill him soon. Once you do a certain amount of damage, he goes into his next phase. Now here's what bothers me, the fact that he's allowed to come out of there like that and attack, yet his, um, it just seems kind of weird how he can just come out like that, even though his second phase involves him actually leaving the place, so it's kind of weird. Now, the, I think the reason why this guy is so weak is probably because, in case you didn't use all the captain stripes on the Delphinus like I did, then save them, I, you use them on, on the Drachma ship, slash the little jack, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, so in case you did that, it attacks with less damage, expecting you to have less health. You have around 30,000 health with this thing like that. So anyway, so because we did so much damage to him, he decides to come out. So now we need to start hitting him. I don't even know how to explain what he looks like. Anyway, so we have nothing but critical hits now. So we're going to try hitting him with everything we can in one turn. Because we do have a lot of things to use, so we'll use them all. 
advanced cannon on the last turn, and prototype cannon right there. We'll hit him with a lot this turn. In fact, this is one of those rare sightings when you can kind of use a when you can use your when you can shoot cannons for the whole way. We already missed. Or you can shoot cannon every turn is what I was gonna say. Excuse me. But um yeah, I'm still doing the butt um thing. I haven't stopped. <sighs> Frankly I'm a little mad today. Not really mad. I I'm glad that I got all my things done, but that's only because my guitarist told me that my bass wasn't gonna come to practice. And he told me we were going to have practice today because I'm home from school today. So he said, we can just jam all day today. And I'm like, okay, that'd be really cool. We can jam from like 10 to 10, right? But then he's hanging out. But then he said, oh, but I'm hanging out with my cheating ex-girlfriend. Um, my cheating still girlfriend. At 6 or something. And I'm like, so I just said to myself, whatever, I don't care. They're already dating. I mean... Whatever, they're dating, and he's an idiot for that, but that's not the point. The fact that we, um, he goes back inside after a while, as you see. Anyway, I know, it's just kind of like, blah, 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 oh yeah, back to the game. And then, oh yeah. So you're going to want to stay put, I think? Because it doesn't really matter which one you choose, I guess. Anyway, and he, I texted him this morning at around like 9.30, because I woke up normal time as usual. And I was like, um... So you, when you when you plan on coming, and he was like, "Oh, well, Andrew's not coming, and I'm feeling kind of sick, so I probably won't." And I'm like, "What? What do you?" And I really didn't like. I'm like, "Great." So then, I was like, "Whatever, I'll work on my LPs." And then, here we go at 10 o'clock. No, at like 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I was working on making some filler videos between LPs and maybe if I run out of time I have something to upload for you guys which I have the I have that done I have quite a few videos actually I can probably around 14 videos filler videos I can probably use in case I run out of time on on making new LP videos and stuff so at least you'll always know there's going to be a video for me every day and then um as I was doing it when I was in the middle of it, actually, you get a text from him saying, "Oh, I feel better now," and I'm like, "So I don't know. Maybe him and his girlfriend got into a fight. I don't know." But I was confused. I was like, "Whatever. I don't know." All of a sudden, he's just like, "Oh yeah, I'm feeling better now." I'm not sure if it's because I got a text from our bassist saying, "Oh yeah, I can come." Well, this is other move, by the way. It's bite. I'm not sure if it involved my bassist. He also texted me saying, oh, so we like jamming today or something? Or I was talking about MSN. So I was like, oh, okay, sure. And then I get another text from guitarist going, oh, yeah, I'm, I, we can jam. And I'm like, I'm feeling better now, let's jam. So I don't know what it was. Maybe he was fighting with his ex girl, with Not with his ex. Why do I keep saying ex? It should be his ex, but it's not. Fighting with his girlfriend or... I don't know, it's just, I don't know, I'm con I don't really care, I'm going to my friend's house now after I'm done recording this big chunk of videos. Oh, well, hopefully we can kill him just before the end of this video, because we're, got a little bit over a minute left, I think this should kill him though, so, we're pretty good, is he dead? Yeah, there he goes, floats away like a fish. There we go, we've beaten that fight. Not much to it, as long as you have the Moonstone Cannon, you're pretty good. You get a new torpedo, because the game knows you need a torpedo, and I don't know where we got the torpedo off him, because it clearly is a, a fish or some sort. But the torpedoes do come in handy in the future, though. Hmm. I probably won't use it. Torpedoes are barely hit as it is, and this has and less accuracy. I'm okay with what I have for now, anyway. Anyway. So... Yeah, so he's gotta go through the hole that he was in. And you'll notice... We've got another hole on this side and no save point. Which means... We are out of this place, finally. 